Well, hey there, welcome to episode number nine of this series that I'm making on how to create a WordPress blog, Word, a WordPress website. Um, I, as you would, if you've been following along this long, you'll know that I'm uh, publishing a memoir and I'm using WordPress to do it in. And I have set up my website design and I've basically done everything. I've put the first three blog posts in there. I've gone over a few menu options with you guys and I've explained a bit of what I've done. Now, since the last episode, um, <laughs> we could actually probably entirely scrap that episode because after doing all of that work, I discovered that there's a plugin that just reverses the blog order, the post order by clicking one button. So I installed that and yeah, it solved the issue altogether. So I've gone back to using my categories on the um, on the menu. But anyway, what I wanted to do in this video is actually show you how I go about or what I'm going to do to monetize the website with memberships. So what will happen is somebody who wants to read all of the blog posts because I'll make some of them publicly accessible, but then there will be other blog posts that I won't make publicly accessible. And those blog posts are basically going to be um, private and the only way that you can read those blog posts is to actually purchase a membership. So what I'm going to do in this episode is show you the plugin that I'm using for this specific functionality and let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's go down to the um, to the dashboard and here on the dashboard under plugins you'll see that um, if I click on installed plugins I've got one update which we may as well do now. This is an update for the cadence blocks. So just very quickly going to update that. And it's a couple of seconds that you've got to be patient and watch what's going on. There we go. That is updated. And this is the, uh, the plugin that I'm going to be using for paid memberships. And it's a free plugin. There are some paid elements to it if you want to go for a pro version. But um, what I'll do now in this video is I'm just going to show you the basic settings that I've set up and how it works in the live situation. Before we get started, one thing that I do have to warn you about is that I discovered that there is a conflict between this plugin and the seed prod plugin, which is the one that we use to show the coming soon page. And um, yeah, it perplexed me for a little bit, but I eventually figured out that that was what the problem was. So as soon as I switched off the seed prod plugin, I was able to log in with the um, with the paid memberships pro login. And yeah, everything works fine once that one other plugin is switched off. And it's okay because that plugin is only really going to be used at the, you know, just before the launch of the website. So for me, it's not a major train smash. And there are other coming soon page plugins that you can install if seed prod doesn't work for you. So getting back to the point of this video, let's have a look at the paid memberships pro plugin. And uh, over here on the main top part of the page, you're going to see that there is an area where you can enter a support license. So the way these guys are making their money is by selling support. And um, I don't really see a need for that right now. Scrolling a little bit further on, on the dashboard of this specific plugin, you will see that you have your sales and revenue widget. And this will show you at a glance how many sales you've made. It'll show you members that have signed up, uh, recent orders, I did a test order, and membership stats and various other things that if you're a stats geek, you might like to look at from time to time. Then we have a tab here for members. So what will happen is every time somebody signs up for your, your blog or your, your, uh, your website, whatever you're selling or restricting access to, they will be listed here. Then you'll have a tab for any orders that get uh, placed on the system. You'll see they each get given a code. You'll see a username. I have Mr. Test. Um, and the level, this is the different access levels that you can set up. So you can set up different levels for different people. So for instance, if somebody pays you $10 a year, they can have access to a certain set of blog posts. And if they pay you a little bit more, you can set up a different level for them, maybe giving them something else. So I'll show you how I've done that in, in my instance in a moment. 
The gateway that I'm using is PayPal standard and um, there's a bit of a story behind this PayPal standard option from the plugin developers. They don't like it and they're trying to force everybody to use PayPal Express, which is a business account with PayPal. And I really don't want to look into the, um, the options with that right now. So I've opted for PayPal standard, which I've used for many years and it's worked just fine. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. If it comes to the point where I have to use PayPal Express or something else, I'll investigate that. But for now, PayPal Express or PayPal standard is the one that I'm going with. You have a tab for reports and yeah, again, all this sort of statistical stuff, if that interests you. And the one that we are more interested in is the settings. So this is where you can create various levels that I just spoke about of membership. So what I've done is I've created an insider level and that will be $10 that the person will pay now and that will give them access to the blog for six months. I then have a confidant level, which is a step up. It's basically the same access, but it's for an entire year and that's $17.50. So whatever I've published in a year, they would be able to see that and or they would have their membership for a year. Let's put it that way. Now, you also have the option of including discount codes. So, for instance, if you wanted to give people like friends and family a discount code, you can create a code in here. Let's do one quickly. And there's a automatic generated code that's happened there. I don't know if you can. It looks like you could probably change that to anything. You can set a start and expiry date and how many times you want that code to be used and then which level it will apply to. So I'm not going to set that up right now. Then you have a setting for pages and these are the automatic pages that this uh, plugin has actually added to WordPress. So you'll have a page for the membership account, billing pages, checkout pages, all that sort of stuff. It's all done automatically with the plugin. So that's very handy. Then we come to the payment gateway and SSL. And this is where you can choose different payment gateways. So this plugin has a few that are um, available. Um, <laughs> I don't know that people still pay with checks, but here's an option to pay by check. There's Stripe, uh, PayPal Express, as I've spoken about earlier, PayPal Website, Payments Pro, and more PayPal and more PayPal, Authorize.net, Braintree, to check out CyberSource. To check out does work in a South African context. So if you wanted to have a to check out account and charge in rands, you could do that. I'm just going to stick with PayPal and charge in US dollars. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, so there you have all of the other information that's related to that. So you'd have to have your your uh, email that you had set up for your PayPal, the currency that you want to change. Now you may be tempted to do a change here to South African rand. But the problem is that's not going to work. And um, if you put in a hundred rand, the person when it goes through to PayPal is going to get charged a hundred dollars and you won't have any friends left. So please don't do that. Just be very careful if you're using PayPal. PayPal for some reason are still not supporting ZAR, which is very annoying because years and years ago they promised us that they would. It's still not happening. Um, Right, so the next one to look at is email and this is just a configuration for the emails that the system will send out. So normally as it says here by default system emails are generate or sent from WordPress at your domain and all I've done is I've changed that to my own domain here. And uh, there are a few other settings that you can go for here with the paid memberships pro um, plugin or upgrade. Not really looking into any of that. So here you have some options for when the site sends emails for admin. So when a person checks out, when an admin mem when a when an admin changes a user's membership, if anything happens, this will send you an alert. Okay. The last one is the advanced section, and um, I haven't really gone to into too much detail with this, but basically. This was where I encountered the conflict with the uh, SeedProd plugin. Um, 
when somebody logs into your website, they're going to see a dashboard that is not quite the same as the dashboard that you as the admin will see, but they'll see a dashboard and that could get a little bit uh, confusing for people. So you can switch that off and I'll fiddle around with this once I get to the point where I'm ready to put the project live. So I'm not going to get into too much detail about that right now. And there's a, a bunch of messages that you can change. Um, then the important thing here is, do you want to show excerpts to non-members? So this is important because what will happen is you'll see on the front end of the website a blog post. Sorry. You'll see on the front end of the website a blog post. And um, that blog post may be behind the paywall or it may be in front. But now the thing is, if you don't let people see that there are posts behind that paywall, they'll never know about them. So it's important to put that and or to have this um, these excerpts there. And I'll show you now exactly what that looks like. So if we go to the front of the website and we have a look here, you'll see that the blog post, um, because I'm logged in here already, that might, it may not work properly. But basically what will happen is it will throw up this little information. This content is for insider and confidant members only. Join now. So the person would click on that and they would then go through the process of uh, paying the money through to PayPal and it will redirect them back to the website and they will have access to the blog posts. It should, in theory, work, but yeah, I will test it out before I put the thing live. So that's what it's going to do. So that's the reason why you need to include that uh, showing excerpts. And there are a few other settings here. So the recapture is a Google thing that stops people from spamming your forms. Um, I will probably set this up. It's a little bit technical, but I'm not going to do that as part of this series. Um, if you do need to find out about this, you can look this up on many other guys on YouTube will be able to show you exactly what's going on in that regard. Communication settings and various settings. So you can also, if you've got advertising on your website and you don't want to show that to members, you can choose to hide the ads from all the members or from certain members. And if you chose certain members, you would then be able to say which members you want to hide them from. So in my case, insider and confidant. I'm not going to have ads, but you never know. And uninstall uh, PMP, which is the name of the plugin on deletion. Uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. There are some add-ons that you can purchase. Um, for me, that's not really applicable right now. There's a ton of these, I can tell you that for free. And um, then there's the license. So if you did decide to support the developers of this plugin, you could purchase the license, should enter the license key in there. And that really is just about it as far as um, getting this website ready to go live is concerned. Um, I'm quite happy with the design of the site. I might, I might change the background image here, but the general design of everything is pretty much how I want it to be. Oh, I did include or I did update the about page. So I filled that information in and uh, everything else is looking pretty much the way I want it to look. And yes, hopefully I will be able to use this project as a teaching tool as I'm doing now. And then also if it does catch fire and I start earning lots and lots of money, you may not see any more videos from me anymore. <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, of course, just leave them in the comments. I am also available on email. I'll put a link in the description for my email address and a bunch of other links that you can click on as well if you're interested in other stuff that I do. Until the last video, which will be out fairly soon, I hope. Ta-da!